New from the Nightside team tonight, we're covering the cost of Christmas trees this holiday season. NBC Montana, Montana's Dominic Vidiello joins us from a local tree lot to break down the dollars and cents of adding a little holiday cheer to your living room. Yeah, and if you're like me, you probably just head to one of the lots, find the prettiest one and take it home. But there's plenty of species that you could probably take home. We have subalpine fir. We have Douglas fir. Over here, we have Fraser fir. And you might have guessed it, we have a grand fir over here. But there's plenty more. There's about four more species that are other than fir. So come in here and take your pick. A lot of these trees are ranging anywhere from eight to up to $300. So there's a wide variety from you to choose from. And I actually wanted to see how the start of the season was going. So I spoke to the manager here at Pink Grizzly to see how it was looking. The people that want a fresh product in their home and they want to be able to enjoy it for about a month or so before Christmas, typically those first two weekends, Black Friday and the first week of December, are always the busiest weekend. So it's something that we can almost set our watch on. We, we do expect to be very busy this weekend. Now there are other options if you want to put a tree in your home this holiday season. You can cut down your own tree on National Forest lands with a permit. For the local National Forest, that'll cost $7.50 if you buy the permit online. And according to the American Christmas Tree Association, artificial trees are a popular option. They can cost from $100 to $1,000. There's a Christmas tree out there for everyone, at every price point, at every size, shape, and color. And that's the beauty of it. It's the beauty of being involved in an industry like this because it brings a lot of joy. Reporting in Missoula, Dominic Vidiello, NBC Montana. All right, we had to know what you thought about fresh versus artificial Christmas trees. So we posted the question to our NBC Montana Facebook page. Here's what some of you had to say. Mike said his dad bought an artificial tree in 1996 that's still going strong. Holly prefers real for the scent, but fake for the mess. Tamara says artificial is easier and safer. Linda likes real trees and cuts one down in the forest. And Dave says fresh cut, adding they take less resources and are better for the environment.